Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a very nice system of equations. We have a plus b equals 1, a squared plus b squared equals 2, and we're going to evaluate a to the 7th power plus b to the 7th power. I'll be presenting three methods, and let's start with the first one. But before that, this problem was inspired by Zahlen RMD. Looks like Zahlen doesn't mean number, it means counting in German. All right, let's get started. Thank you for the inspiration. First method. So we know that a plus b is equal to 1 and a squared plus b squared is equal to 2. So let's go ahead and square a plus b. That's going to give us 1 squared, which is a squared plus b squared plus 2ab equals 1. Now we do know that a squared plus b squared is equal to 2, so this has to be negative 1, which means ab is equal to negative one half. So great, we know a plus b is equal to 1 and a times b is negative 1 half. Using these two pieces of information, we're going to use Vieta's formulas and write the equation whose roots are a and b. As you know, Vieta tells us that the equation whose roots are a and b can be written as x squared minus a plus bx plus ab equals 0. Now, a, B is negative 1 half, and A plus B is 1, so I can write this equation as X squared minus X minus 1 half equals 0. Awesome. So since A and B are roots of this equation, when I plug in uh, A and B for X, it's going to work. But that's not what we're going to do yet. Let's go ahead and do the following. X is kind of like a general expression that represents A and B, or whose roots are A and B. So we can easily replace X with A and B anytime we want. But let's go ahead and do this first. I want to isolate x squared, and from here I'm going to work in a polynomial sense, and I want to linearize other powers of x. In other words, write it as a linear function of x. Okay? Make sense? So let's go ahead and start by squaring both sides. If I square x squared, then I get x plus 1 half squared, which can be written as x squared plus 1 fourth plus x, because the 2ab is going to give us x in the middle. And now we do know that x squared is equal to x plus 1 half from here. So we can go ahead and replace that with x plus 1 half. And then when you add the 1 fourth plus x, we can basically write the x to the fourth power as x plus x, which is 2x, plus 1 half plus 1 fourth, which is 3 fourths. In other words, we were able to write x to the fourth in terms of x only. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is do the same thing for x to the third power. You see what I'm getting at? Hopefully. x cubed can be written as x squared times x. I could also cube both sides, but this is better. x squared can be replaced with x plus 1 half. Remember that. It's, that's our formula, right? And now, of course, we're going to distribute this and get x squared plus 1 half of x. This is x cubed. But again, and this is going to go on forever, x squared will be replaced with x plus 1 half all the time, right? That's our formula. And let's keep using it. Now, x plus 1 half of x is going to be 3 halves of x plus 1 half. So, that's our formula for x cubed. And now, let's go ahead and put these two together. x to the fourth and x to the third. Do you see what I'm getting at? x to the seventh is x to the fourth times x cubed. And x to the fourth was expressed as, what was it? 2x plus 3 fourths. And then x cubed was... 3 over 2x plus 1 half. So from here, x to the 7th is going to be, if you distribute, you're going to get 3x squared, and then x, plus 9 over 8x, plus 3 over 8. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and replace x squared with x plus 1 half again. You see, we keep doing it. That's our formula. And then from here, we should be getting x plus 1 over, but let's go ahead and add those at the end, because we're going to have more, one more x. And now this is going to give us 3x plus 3 halves plus x plus 9 over 8x plus 3 over 8. Again, this is x to the 7th power. You see what I'm getting at? Putting those powers together and everything is written in terms of x. You see why this is helpful in a little bit. Now we're going to go ahead and simplify this. 3x and 9 over 8x. So 3 plus 9 over 8 is just going to be, uh, well, there's another x here. So it's going to be 4x. 4 times 8 is 32, plus 9 is going to be 41 over 8. Actually, that's not true. 
uh, because we kind of need to let me see. Uh, this is going to be 4x and then, yeah, that's right, 32, 41 over 8x, 41 over 8x. And now we have the 3 halves, which is can be written as 12 over 8, which is going to give us 15 over 8. Awesome. This is x to the 7th power. Now, how do I find a to the 7th plus b to the 7th from here? Easy. You just replace x and x with a and b because a and b are the roots of this equation, you know. So a to the 7th is going to be 41 over 8a plus 15 over 8. And b to the 7th is going to be 41 over 8b plus 15 over 8. This allows us to write both a to the 7th and b to the 7th in terms of a and b. And when we add these two powers, this is a very powerful method, by the way, we're going to get a plus b in parentheses, and this is going to be 15 over 4. And as you know, hopefully you, you remember that, a plus b is equal to 1. So we end up with 41 over 8 plus 30 over 8, which is 71 over 8 for a to the 7th plus b to the 7th. So that will be the answer pretty much. And we're going to check it at the end. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. So second method uses the following. We have an equation, remember? We ended up with this. This is the quadratic, so why not solve it? If you solve this equation, you're going to get 1 plus minus root 3 over 2. Does that look familiar? Kind of like the sum of cosine and sine, or sine and cosine. No i, so this is not something like an a plus b i. Pretty close. But from here, we can pick a to be 1 plus root 3 over 2, and b to be 1 minus root 3 over 2. And then, voila, we can just go ahead and raise these numbers to the seventh power and add them. How do you add them? Using the binomial theorem, raise them. Good luck with that. That's going to take forever. But again, you can square or raise to the fourth power and then build your uh, way up there. Make sense? Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the third method and then uh, we'll take a look at a couple things. The third method uses the following, which is also, I think, a nice method. And you're going to get to decide which one is the best. A plus B is 1, AB is negative 1 half. I'm kind of copying off of the first method. Hope you don't mind. To save some time, this is what we know, right? Now, here's what I'm going to do. This is kind of fun. Take A squared plus B squared, multiply by A plus B, and distribute. This gives you A cubed plus B cubed plus A squared B plus B squared A, which can be written as AB times A plus B. And of course, since this is a product, this is supposed to equal 2. And now, we do know that this is equal to negative 1 half, and this is equal to 1. So that gives you, an, gives you a negative 1 half, add it to both sides, you're going to get 5 halves. Make sense? So the sum of the cubes is 5 over 2 from here. Let's do something similar for the fourth power. We're going to take this and square it, and that's going to be, what was a squared plus b squared? Okay, well, it was 2, so its square is going to be 4, but what is a squared plus b squared squared? That is a to the fourth power plus b to the fourth power plus 2a squared b squared. Well, wait a minute. a, b is negative 1 half. Remember that? So its square is going to be 1 fourth multiplied by 2. You're going to get 1 half. So 4 minus 1 half is going to give you a to the fourth plus b to the fourth. 4 minus 1 half is 7 halves. So we know this and we know that, a cubed plus b cubed. So what do you do with that? Multiply those together. Again, this is fun. Let's multiply these two things and we're going to get a to the 7th plus b to the 7th. And then from these two, we're going to get a cubed b cubed times a plus b. a plus b pops up all the time. There was an Amy problem, which I'm planning to do that video on. I think that kind of uses a similar idea. Anyways, now a to the 4th is 7 halves. a cubed plus b cubed was 5 halves. Their product is going to be 35 over 4. This is negative 1 half cubed, which is negative 1 eighth. This is 1, so that's a negative 1 eighth. Add 1 eighth, which is 7 over 8 plus 1 eighth, which is 71 over 8. As before, yay, we got the same answer. I'm happy. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at some, what? 3D plot? Wow, this is amazing. A to the 7th plus B to the 7th. Doesn't that look like a chair? That's kind of funny, right? Anyways, I just wanted to share with you this graph, beautiful graph from, um, well, from Alpha. I'd like to say Desmos, but Desmos can't do this. Anyways, too bad. And by substitution, we can get the same answer. Yay. And this brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.